And this just in here at noon, a U.S. District Judge has scheduled Donald Trump's D.C. trial on charges of attempting to overturn the 2020 presidential election that is now scheduled for March 4th, 2024. And this is Trump's one-time chief of staff, Mark Meadows, is in court in Georgia today. Here's ABC's M1. Today, Donald Trump's former chief today, of staff, Mr. Mark Meadows, testifying in his own high stakes hearing to move his Georgia racketeering case from state to federal court. Fulton County okay, District okay, Attorney Fonnie okay. Willis has accused Meadows of taking part in a sweeping conspiracy to overturn the 2020 presidential election results in the state. Meadows' lawyers argue he was only carrying out duties directly related to that role as Trump's top aide, including setting up the phone call between Trump and Georgia Secretary of State Brad Raffensperger following Trump's election loss. So, Mr. President, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. On that call, Trump is heard asking Raffensperger to find the exact number of votes needed to overturn Joe Biden's victory. So, look, all I want to do is this. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more that we have, because we won the state. The DA subpoenaed Raffensperger and other witnesses to make her case that Meadows violated the Hatch Act, which bars federal employees from using their official roles to engage in partisan political activity. And I think if you look at it, it was most likely that he was operating as a part of the Republican Party, which would be a political role and not his official role as the chief of staff. At least four other defendants are also seeking to move their case to federal court. So what Mr. Meadows is trying to do is get to a much more favorable jury pool, a, much, a jury pool that would be much more likely to acquit him at trial. Meadows' hearing marks the first major indicator of how the case could proceed for the other 18 defendants. The arraignment for Trump and the other defendants facing charges in Georgia is scheduled for September 6. And today, a judge overseeing the separate federal election interference case against Trump officially set a trial date of March 4th of next year. M1, ABC News, Washington.